I, I just have a question for you. I mean, I didn't mean to like offend how, you. How how bad did your you, mom you hurt you? You offended me, man. All you can do is bust. Nuts I'm just saying, I I've never walked past somewhere. a construction site and seen a gang of women. <laughs> oh my god! What did I say? I see if you can jump back down. Zen Shapiro's a racist. Oh man. He's having a private chat. Let's see if we can do it like this. Let's do this. I didn't even know that. Yo. What's up, you boners? 
I'm with you. Zen Shapira is kind of a douchebag. Yeah, he's a racist and a weirdo. Oh, I, I don't care about that. Um, I just think that he's just, he's an asshole to me, so I don't like him. I agree with most of what he says. Oh, you're racist too? Or are you just yes. pro-choice? No, I'm racist and I'm pro-choice. Oh, okay. That's cool. You want to talk about it? What are some of your views here? Are you racist towards Why? Uh, black people? Why would you assume that? What are you racist towards? Mm, pretty much anyone who isn't what white. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Um, tell me more about this. About this racism. You believe that just, white is a superior just, uh, race? No, I just believe that a, a white race is the race that's worth my time. Based what, on what the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, let him speak. B based on what, though? Like accolades? Well, history? based on the fact that I I'm white. Okay, you, where's your, where's oh, your family Oh, this dude from? is a fucking loser. Wait, wait, I, uh, let him talk. Based on what, though? Your, your family history, or are you white, white? Like, yeah. American? I'm white, white. Where did your family come from before America? Uh, different Polish? places in Europe. Uh, I might have a little bit of Polish in there. Polish, but uh, my yeah. name is Irish. Irish, mm. Irish, Polish, and then you come to America. So, are you? Would you say you're just a fan of white skin, or? Well, Because no. you're multi-raced, so I, I don't understand how you're how you're racist. You're you're, you're multi-ethnic. Well, yeah, but those are all white races. It's not like there's just one white race, right? Well, I don't mean to pop your bubble here, but. Just because your skin is white doesn't make you the same race. Well, you're right. It's based in culture and what your culture is based in. No, it's genetic. And that's that's why I said I no, don't no, care no. about Listen, skin color. It's, it's genetic. I, I care genetic. about whether or not you're Genetically, white. you're Polish. You're probably Irish. You're of a European descent. You settle in America where you then have the ability to identify as white and you're racist. That's kind of weird. No, that's, really that's not weird. what you're saying. So, you're not racist, you're a colorist. No, I am racist. Towards what? Everyone who's not white. But that's skin color, that's not a race. So you're I had, cool with I had to join. People. You're cool with Irish people. <laughs> you're cool with Polish people. You're yeah. cool with Europeans. And everyone else is white. But there's white Spanish people. <clears throat> yeah, there's Sp white the Spaniards, the Spanish people are white. So, you're just a colorist, right? No. I'm a racist. Uh, you're a fucking loser. Wait, is this, colorist, it bro. doesn't sound like Zen, but it, it sounds like Zen. No, uh, don't you dare call me that. I mean, you sound like Zen. Zen. At least Zen doesn't it. blatantly claim his racism. This guy's a colorist. He only likes at, people that are mean, white at skin. At least. At the very least, at least he, he's he, a closet he, racist. So you're a critical race theorist. No. I, no, I he's actively a Polish, critical race Irish, theory. European descendant, American yeah, who doesn't yeah, like yeah. white. I mean, who doesn't like dark-skinned people. So you subscribe well, to the same like, identitarian like anyone, principles as critical like race theorists. Not white. No, Yo, I just not, wanted to. It's not the same. I just wanted to know who I it's knew. The same. Him. Who do I know? They're all based on the same philosophy, based on folk um, right values. Do you hate African people? Critical, critical race theory teaches kids about collective white history. And I don't believe Do you hate African, African people? Yeah, that's the critical part of it, but you're still an identitarian just like them. I mean, to be honest, I don't even think he's smart enough to understand that concept. I just think he's, he's a colorist. <laughs> he just doesn't Most like, people aren't. you know, the color of people. Because he's Irish, he's Polish, he's of European descent. Those I'm Welsh and Hungarian. I mean, to be Those honest, why, I'm does well it, hung. why does it why does it rustle your Jimmy so much? I mean, I know you're trying to be funny by saying Jimmy's, but you're not even a racist. I don't even think racist people would accept you into their ranks. You're just weird. You'd, racist people wouldn't accept me into their race. Into their ranks. There's a K in oh, there. Into, into and their the ranks. Before the K. Yeah, ranks. What what ranks do racist people have? I don't know. No, so it's I like in it's a a could, I, could I? Could I be like a racist sergeant? Probably. Like a you could be a racist grand client. wizard. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not calling no. you that. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's stick to the deep of this. All right, why are you racist? 
Oh, honestly, bro, it, it just kind of cringe, you know. You want to be cringe? No, it's just like black people, Mexicans, Indians, Chinese, they're all kind of cringe, you know. What do you mean by that? I mean, they're just kind of cringy. What but what do you mean, mean by that? that? Well, you think that you're you? not cringy? You think you're not cringy? Nah, it's just Whoa, like, what does he mean by cringy? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty not cringy, I'm pretty... Alright, but what chatter. do you mean by cringe? Have you heard yourself talk before? I'm pretty chatterific. Sure you are. Uh, doubt. Yeah, this is uh, going to be some interesting... But what do you mean, uh, what do you mean by cringe? I mean, like, they just, like, go around hooting and hollering, making all this noise, like, damn, bro, chill out, you know? <laughs> Alright, I have to ask now, how old are you? Oh, I'm, like, 34. Divided by 2 is 17. Alright, so you're still a minor. Is it because no, of your I'm father 30, or I'm, your mother? I'm not 34 divided by 2, I'm 34. Wait, 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 so so what year was you born? I don't know where you got Three. divided by 2 from. That what was year was you weird. born? 3, 2... Because you sound two. like you're still in high school and trying yeah, to be cringy. He's, he's not. Uh, y'all yeah, yeah, really I'm, are. I'm uh, not in high school. I'm 34. Delusion though, if you think this man's actually preaching something. No, he's just Man, trying to hold on, hold on. He's just trying to troll. Hold he's not. Yeah, that's if I said that even amongst racist people, he wouldn't be accepted. No, Zed, 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 I know Zed. Let's, he's part of the Xbox community, and if you're not from there or have been there for a couple of years, you wouldn't know what the type of person he is. Zed's Think about right. him is that guys, we're not even no, talking no, no, about Zed. He, he just uses you for entertainment. Racist. This guy is All he literally does is saying just, he's just no. But listen, you're late to the combo, guy. Guy, relax. This guy claims to be racist. Oh, All I don't right, give a so, shit about you. I'm just telling you about Zen. Don't don't talk to that boy. He does. He, no, he knows. He's just a fucking clown. He made bro, the fucking he, group. He, I made the pose, bro. I know this. <laughs> he made the group. I'm he knows not, that. I'm not a clown. I'm a scare actor. There's a difference. No, I'm saying Zen is. <laughs> and oh, if you try to listen, argue with him, listen, he just I tries to. But I, I use like Zen Shapiro to draw in his followers. Yeah, Zen Shapiro is I, a douchebag. No, but it's just. I, I check in once a week on him just to make sure he's still racist. Yeah, um, this guy though claims to hate all races outside of the white skin tone. Community. Well, it has nothing. Being white has nothing to do with your skin tone. So your okay, focus. all right. The 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 qualifications for being white are essentially where your culture comes from. Is your culture based in a religion that is based in Judaism? That is, if you're white or not. My culture. Bruh, is you're in literally cult. speaking uh, critical race theory to me and saying you're not a critical race theorist. Critical race theory doesn't teach that white culture is built on religions that are found. Yes, it Judaism. does. It is literally neo-Calvinist. That's not what. That's not what critical race theory teaches. It me. literally is. It literally says all white people are racist as a result of that. You're just the opposite side of the coin. That's not what I'm saying. And that's not. No, but it is what you're people. saying. I mean, I mean, I mean, you're you're literally that, spouting critical you race theory. You, you quotes from that Foucault you're in the lose. minority, though, right? Like you, you've you've made yourself the minority by being the way you are. Like the way you think is just a way of making yourself the minority because you just. Does can't. that mean I'm oppressed? No, 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 no. I'm not saying you're oppressed, but you just you don't like the fact that the minority has now made you the minority. So you embrace it by further really minoritizing yourself, if that makes sense. I don't really care. But even within the minority you claim to exist in, those people won't accept you. I, I never claimed to exist in a minority, you did. There is no Being a minority you, doesn't right? mean you're oppressed. Yeah. Okay. Like, the way, like the way you think but won't I never, exist I never in a couple said of years. I was in a minority and you said that. The way you exist and the way you identify, it won't exist. You're like a, a fading little light. <laughs> Dwindling okay. in the Overwatch. Here, title. here's the thing. It's it's going through a surge right now with CRT. So you're seeing it on both sides, and I I pointed this out like a decade ago when identitarianism became really popular. It was like, it was it was right after the Trayvon Martin shooting. It was really when it started to become really prominent. I was like, there's going to be an equal and opposite push from both sides of this, where there's going to be a leftist identitarian side that pushes identitarianism from a point of critical theory and then there's going to be the right side of it that's going to push the same exact thing let's but from the right. Let's not blow his feeble mind though. Let's not blow his feeble mind. Let's just... No, I'm, I'm not explaining it to him. I know he won't get it. You guys will get it. You guys will get it. Yeah. <laughs> within, within a thousand years, everyone will be mixed race. 
Everyone. To some degree. I mean, we already are. To a degree we are. So I understand yeah. my white ignorant friend here who is of Polish, Irish, and European descent trying to identify as white. You know what I'm saying? But you're not I, even... I don't try to identify as white. I, I, uh, I do you're, identify as you're white. You're not white. When, it, when, I, when I get counted you're on the not census... not white. They, when I get counted on the census, they mark my name next to the white box. On oh, God, paper, he's a legal positivist, too? Even worse. I understand that on paper, but you're not yeah. white, my friend. Yeah, you're I, not I Caucasian because you're not from you're, the Caucasus region. You're not white. You're just pale he and still like is. melanin. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if your problem I mean, is with the content of melanin or how you look not. when you get done sunbathing, then I, I mean, understand you I don't you're even being really upset. have any problems, really. I just kind of like think they're kind of cringe. Nah, uh, it's okay, bro. I mean, if you're going to try to trigger people with your pseudo racism, <laughs> at least try to attach it to a value that racism is like a founded with me. I mean, like if you were like some redneck, I love America type guy, then I'd be like, all right, cool, you're racist, but you're not. You're just boring. You get no pussy. You have nothing that's better <laughs> to do. But that's not racism, bro. Hey, hey, cousin is still pussy. I don't even think his cousin is fucking. <laughs> like, he probably identifies as a Labrador Retriever or something. Like, God knows what nah, the it, So, like, the, the thing that gets me, and this is what triggers all the fucking racists, is when I tell them that they're basically just quoting critical race theory back to me. Because it's, it's literally all based on the same shit. It's all based on the same identitarian shit, which comes from and, uh, like here goes a note. German I'm philosophers. Which, yeah. So I'm going to put it on my YouTube tonight, and I'm going to have a thumbnail. It's Do it, man. I have your name. I just uploaded What's one. What's on YouTube? It's a uh, YouTube <laughs> your, slash R A J I I N. What's your YouTube channel? R A J I I N. Ragin. Not the first one that pops up. That's Ragin ninety nine. No association. Just Ragin. You'll see the same picture Ragin in my game nine profile. Nine. No, just Ragin. With 124 subscribers? Yeah, that's me, man. That's me, man. Debate about the vax turns into a hilarious plant Yeah, review. I just uploaded that, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be my next one. And hopefully one of these videos gains traction. And, you know, we could do to you what happened to Edward in New Jersey when he invited the internet to his house and they all popped up in front of him. Your, what did you what did you say happened? You invited someone to a someone's house. You didn't hear about that? I thought that would be in the racist Daily Bugle. Yeah, there was this racist guy in New Jersey. His name's Edward. He uh. There, there's a racist Daily Bugle. I don't know. You tell me, man. You said no. That no, that's Spider Man. That's Spider Man. Oh man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have like a news feed or some type of Reddit thread somewhere, right? Or is it just you and Do your we? Discord? I don't know. I just kind of like. So where do you get your daily corpse? dose of racism? You don't have a special little news outlet you like to read? Are you like a, a friend of Fox? Where do I get my daily dose of racism? Why are you repeating what I'm saying? Well, I'm at making sure that's a question you ask me. Don't take a deep breath. Go get some water, bro. You sound thirsty. I was swallowing food. I'm not. Thirsty. You were swallowing something. I don't think it was <laughs> you were worrying about me so much. I'm, I'm worried but... about you because I'm worried about you, man. But did you say you invited someone to someone's house? Is that what you said? Is is that what you heard last? I don't think that's right. That's one of the things I heard from you. Hi, right, I'll, I'll enlighten you and uh, reiterate what I was saying in layman terms for you, my clear friend. There was a man who was racist in New Jersey. And he invited the internet to come to his house and to check his racist ass. And it happened. About 400 to 500 people. Oh, okay. that's, not, that's a high poverty. But a lot of people came to his house. And he actually got press charges on him. When the cops first came to his house, they identified him by his name, told him to go home, even though he was calling his neighbors a nigger and a monkey and all that. And nothing was done to him. But he said something on camera that was remarkable. He said, come to my house. I dare you. And he said his address. And within hours, he was apologizing and had hundreds of people in front of his house. Within two days, he had security and cops in front of his house. By the third day, he was escorted. They threw beers on him. They threw all kinds of liquors on him. He even got a cup slam dunked on his head. And they took him to jail. Now, that's in real life. But I hope that in the future, people are accountable for the disgusting things they say online as well. 
And until that happens, I will be recording and putting these disgusting things on my YouTube channel. Because you well, hold on. What, what do you mean by disgusting? held accountable? What what particular held accountable? Like, the like in China, they have like this. Uh, they have a system where they kind of like. What like, particularly do you think is the most egregious thing I said? Uh, maybe. I, I would. Uh, maybe the. Cringe? I would like to know what you mean by held accountable because, like, if you're going to use fucking fascist China as a f example, I'll say this. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll say I'm gonna this. Disagree, disagree with you. We can disagree yeah. with this, but okay, let's say. Your IP address is linked to hundreds of racist comments, like sure. all of World Star, Yahoo, like all, we can yeah. collect all of these comments. Well, then I think you shouldn't be able to comment anymore. You're held accountable for it. All right, but who's going to enforce that? An algorithm. But no, but like, who's going to enforce that algorithm on people? Someone has to implement that. Well, when you would go to a website, at the bottom of the website, you will see that it would say uh, "algorithm enforced" and whatever the name of the company. Okay, I don't, but I don't think his it, are, are the websites enforced? <laughs> are, are the websites like you would be more likely to do so? or inclined to go to this website if it was enforced by such algorithm? So it's voluntary. It would be voluntary for the website, of course, but it, okay. it's like it's like any other. No, that's fine. That's fine. Like you can go so shopping like, online, but wouldn't you want to shop I, with a I website I that is registered? I wouldn't want that, though. Some, I mean, why wouldn't you? Because I think that I don't trust technocrats with our ideas, and if they want to say like that no something class. is egregious or you extremist or racist or whatever... I think fundamentally, fucking, across the board, we can, like we can kind of like... We can You're agree on certain things Mexicans being like unnecessary. There are some raros. Like his his <laughs> views and the way this guy talks and speaks, is unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. But like, if I never seen it in a comment, here, he's... if I if I never seen it in a comment, I, I don't think my my life would be affected. So yeah, why, I agree. Why wouldn't, but... I, why wouldn't I be more inclined to visit a website that would eliminate his kind of rhetoric? Because because the best defeat to bad speech is better speech so a horrible idea is only defeated by a better idea if you've never encountered a bad idea you don't know it as a bad idea because it was never countered by a better idea these aren't so, contrasting not able ideas. To come up with good ideas no these they 100% are these aren't, these aren't they absolutely are these are not oh, contrastable people. ideas oh, these are these are these are crackers that are oppressing us and shit please give us your food so, like, if you never heard anything racist in your entire life, and someone was like, hey, let me point to you to these statistics, and this oh. is actually true, that yeah, this, this is, is like, a thing. You don't ever have to hear a racism, jiggle -boo, jiggle -boo, or, I mean, a racist, to not be racist. True. But, I'm just saying that no, people that, who that have never heard true. racism are more susceptible to racism as an idea. And you also can't idea. change a racist jiggle -boo, jiggle -boo, jiggle -boo. by being anti-racist like there's nothing we can say to change this man right here there's i disagree do. i think people's ideas change a lot and i think the best thing to do is to point the out to him that this idea is literally the thing behavior, that he hates behavior correction is usually environmental and physical i mean because he can of. interpret what we say to further his agenda or to further his fucked up ideology so there's nothing Until, you like, can say Until I fuck up his him. mind too much. <laughs> no, you can't fuck so, up his honest, mind because his mind is already fucked up. His intelligence has already I've done it created. before. I've the literally done it before. The only thing this has affirmed in my head is how easily people latch on to anything that they like. If I was making jokes, bro, when you told me why are you racist, I said because black people are cringe. Like, and you took that so to heart, and you used that for your own agenda. Like, I was clearly making a joke, but you didn't care. You took it to heart, and you took it Well, you could have just been stupid. You... I, w I was being extremely stupid, but you guys took me extremely seriously. Nah, no, no, I just wanted to know what you that. meant by that. We didn't take that you serious, and I told you that even and amongst races, you, you wouldn't even be jokes, anything. And everyone's always going to take you guys as a joke. Listen, you will forever no, be on my you, YouTube. You can't, Don't backpedal. You, can't tell, Don't back you can't even tell when I'm making you make a joke out of yourself. Don't backpedal. Oh, he left. I was gonna kick him. He tapped. Anyway. I was he gonna tapped. kick him. I was waiting for him. So yeah. I had literally had my finger on the kick no, button. So like I, I I honestly think that you can change people's minds because I've done it before. And here's the thing, it's like you just have to understand what they believe. 
where they're coming from and then turn it around on them. So, like, the easiest thing for me with racist people... Like